Hello and welcome to video number five. In this specific video, you're gonna learn how to set up the product on JVZoo. So with that said, let's go ahead and go to jvzoo.com and I'll show you how to do just that. All right, so now hop on over to jvzoo.com. And before you log in, you need to think, okay, I've, I've looked through the product vendor checklist, I have my files ready, and I'm going to sell a one-time product. It's not gonna be a recurring monthly product, so there's no need for a trial offer and this and that. Once you understand exactly what you wanna do, now it's time to log in. So click on log in, and if you haven't created an account yet, go ahead and create an account. And then once you're logged in, click on sellers, and of course, make sure you update your account and this and that, and simply click on add a product okay so you'll notice that all the information that I showed you in the vendor checklist is in here and at this point in time I know exactly what I need to do so I don't have to pause and wait so right here allow sales or not that just makes basically means do you want to activate your product or not so in this case I'm not ready to make it live yet, so I'm gonna click on no. I'm not ready to put it into to the marketplace just yet. And the launch time, let's say that uh, today is October 12th, 2012. And that's it. And let's say that I'm gonna launch it on the 31st. So we've got that there, we got product name here. I'm gonna say easy. All right, let's see, graphics 101 video course. You got currency, you can do US dollar, Australian euro, Japanese yen, and pound. In this case, I got US dollar, product price. I'm only selling personal rights access, so it's $70. Uh, commission percentage payout, I'm gonna say 75%, since it's a low number. And that's one thing you gotta remember, if it's low number, Affiliates may be hesitant to promote your product if it's a lower number. So if it is a lower number but it is converting well, make sure that you give them a higher percentage payout. You can do subscriptions. In this case, I'm not. That's why I say you know make sure you, you do everything. So we got subscriptions. You can set up your offer trial and everything like that. In this case, I'm not going to be doing that. But if you want to do that, you can always do that. And simply follow the vendor checklist if you're unsure quantity I'm gonna leave it blank because I have an untangible intangible product so I'm gonna leave that blank I'm gonna include the support address here and then your support URL whatever it could be your help desk or ticket system if you don't have one here that's fine just put an email address here Landing page, obviously that's optional if you have a squeeze page, a pre-launch page, and so forth. If you leave this blank, this will basically default to the sales page URL here. If you enter a squeeze page, then it says send all traffic to the sales page after launch date. So after this date, basically the pre-launch page will disappear and the traffic will be sent here and that's a really nice little feature there I'm gonna click on no and remember you have for the sales page if your sales page is on the warriorform.com then you can enter this here in a backup URL here so if the warriorform.com is your sales page URL here enter that here and then the backups here but if you're like me where you're not using the warrior form simply enter the sales page URL here. So in this case, since we have not really uploaded the files yet, that's fine, but you just need to know exactly where you want to upload the files because when we upload the files and we've added the payment link button, we need to upload the files to this page. So in this case, I'm gonna say graphics 101 at this URL. Check, let's see, check this out 
rightnow.net slash graphics 101 and of course you want to save that URL delivery method I have a thank you page if you want to upload it just leave that here you're going to be able to upload your product files on the next page I'm going to click on thank you and remember it's going to be in the same folder but it's going to be this file name so if I click on this and highlight this and just simply copy this over what I need to do is make for sure that it is under this folder here so that's going to be my thank you page here you can click on here to make your product eligible for the product of the day now this is related to affiliate program here so I'm not going to do anything right now no affiliates allowed currently I'm going to talk about the affiliate program in the last video in video number 10. Now also if you check this JVZoo marketplace you can enter your description and category and subcategory and so forth. In this case I'm not doing dime sales but you can do dime sales if you want to. And then you can also enable second tier affiliate tracking. If you do this this is good for JV brokers and so forth, but I'll talk more about that in the future videos. You can integrate it with an autoresponder and external pro integration for advanced features. But, but for the basics, that's it. We're done. And we can simply click on Save Product. Okay, great. So after I click on the Save Product or Add Product, you can see the product here. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to get the buy buttons and add them to your sales page.